substitution back to example one and uh, this time we are doing questions C and D uh, we still have the same numbers that we're substituting for our pronumerals here all right so if we look at question C you'll notice that we've got a square root sign and you'll notice that the line at the top goes all the way across and that's quite important that that is maintained so 2a is the same as 2 times a and 3b is the t same as 3 times b all right making sure the line goes all the way across very important okay now we're going to substitute a is 5 and b is 2 We'll go again. Uh, when you do these, because they're all under the line, you've got to do all your multiplication and, and addition uh, before you do your square root. So 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. We multiply first and we add next. I just wrote the same thing down. Whoops, I meant to write square root 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. Okay, you can do that in the calculator or just maybe recognize that 4 times 4 equals 16. All right, question D now. Let's put our multiplication in first. 2 times A squared minus 5 times B cubed minus 4 times C. And now we're going to substitute our numbers. So A is 5, 2 times 5 squared. B is 2 cubed and c this is the first time we've used c is a negative number negative three so we're timesing by negative three whenever i times or whenever i multiply by a negative number i always want to put it in brackets and the reason we do the, this is just to show that this is not minus three it's a negative number it's negative three okay now you can just plug this in your calculator but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our powers so 5 squared is 25, and 2 cubed is 8. Okay, now we'll do our multiplication. So 2 times 25 is 75, and 5 times 8 is 40. So this becomes 75 minus 40. And the next little bit here is a little difficult. Um, we're subtracting and we're going 4 times negative 3. Now, whenever you do multiplication, it's really important that you completely ignore negatives first. 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm just going to put 12 down. But after you've done your multiplication, you then need to look at your negatives and go, well, I had a negative here and I also had a, a minus in front of my 4. Now, two minuses or two negatives actually make a plus. So it's 75 minus 40 plus 12, which is uh, that's 35 plus 12, or 47. 